Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Tyler and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make magic tutorials and magic videos. So if you like that kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post weekly. So if you like watching magic videos, like I said, please consider subscribing. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the Herman Pass, as you can see from the title. So, uh, most magicians, well I wouldn't say most magicians, but a lot of magicians when they do the Herman Pass, they simply just go like this and they wave their hand over like that. Now that automatically tells the spectator that you just did something. Okay, So if you wave your hand over the deck, that means they're probably going to expect that something happened. So, the way I do this move makes it look like I'm just casually holding the deck and just like replace it in my hand or just you know just basically just re-putting it in my hand in a different spot um, so it just looks casual so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do that later in the video after I teach how to actually do the Herman pass so uh, let's get straight into the actual move the Herman pass okay guys so let's get right into the mechanics of the actual Herman Pass. So you're going to be holding the deck in dealer's grip like this and with your other hand on top. So you can hold it like this or with your finger curled, doesn't really matter. Um, but basically you're going to, basically what you're actually doing is this hand is actually doing all the work. This hand is kind of just holding the deck. So, but what's actually happening is you're actually, this hand is actually curling this around and then back on the top just like that so you're basically cutting the deck but you're doing it invisibly so that the spectator doesn't know so usually how this is used is to control a card to the top so let's say the three of diamonds so um so just like this by adjusting it in my hand it's actually on top now so i think this move looks really clean so i do use it a lot and i hope you guys will use this in your performances but how you're going to actually do this move is first off once your hand is covering the deck like this you're going to need your other hand to be on the deck but you're going to need to curl your index finger usually in dealer's grip it's on here but once you come here your index finger is going to actually need to move right onto the bottom kind of like you're just going to riffle down the side of the deck just like that and now what's happening is your fingers are actually breaking off above, uh, like half the deck like this so kind of like this so it's mostly these fingers that are doing that so you're holding the top packet basically like this and then this hand is holding this packet and then your fingers are covering it at the top so basically what you're doing is you're actually just gonna pull this back and your index finger is actually gonna push it along the side of this pack until it actually clears the pack and then it will come up back so so you're gonna use this hand to hold the this pack and then you're going to use these fingers to kind of pull off that pack and use your index finger to kind of just push that along and the deck is basically just sitting in these fingers just like this and then it's just moving it back and forth so you might want to just practice doing this um, and then once it clears all the way to this packet um, you're going to push it all the way up. So you're actually going to use this index finger to push this packet down. That's what I do. And then, and then basically you're just going to kind of let this packet fall on top. So don't worry about the spectator seeing this. This hand is going to be covering this whole packet moving, but you will need to have this facing the spectator. So let's say the like the camera here, it's looking straight down on the pack, so I can easily do this move without the camera seeing. That's how you want the spectator to be looking at the deck. You want it to be like facing them, so if they're looking at this way, you want the deck to be like this at their eye level, so that you can quickly just do the move, and then they won't see it. So it will literally look invisible. Like if I do it right here on the camera, you really can't, it doesn't look like I'm doing anything unless you're really looking for it, which you want to do this in like an offbeat. You don't want to just have them be looking at the deck and do it, but if they are looking, they won't see anything. So, um, so that's basically the mechanics. So 
as soon as this gets over here, your index finger pushes it all the way, and then once it clears this packet, you're kind of either you're going to kind of slide this packet down. So this one right here, it's going to slide down, and then these fingers that are moving right here are actually going to just push this packet, the nine of spades packet, and just push it right onto the deck. And then you can do like some sort of move like that. So that's actually the basic mechanics of the move. So let's get straight into like how to, how to like, um, like justifications for it, like spreading the deck or flipping it over, things like that. So let's get straight into that right now. Okay guys, so now that we've actually gotten into the mechanics of the move, so now you know how to actually do the move. This is pretty easy by the way, like it, you will need to practice this a lot, but it's a relatively easy move compared to the Herman, or not the Herman pass, the classic pass. Um, it's a lot easier than that one. Um, and I would prefer this method than the classic pass any day. So, um, I just think it's more invisible, but let's get into the justifications. So... Basically, the one I use, I'm going to teach the one I use, and then I'll teach a few other variations that also would work, so you can kind of choose the best one for you. So the one I do is, so once you actually do the move, you want to do this pretty quickly, by the way. You don't want it to, like, you don't want to do it super slowly. You want to actually do it, like, relatively quickly like that. Um, but basically what I'm doing is once I get to this spot where the deck is actually, like, in my fingers like this where it's kind of like this um i'm gonna actually use my thumb right here that's moving and push this packet into this one like this so once that's there i'm gonna flip it over all the way like this so that they're literally looking at this right now then i'm gonna take my other hand grab the front and flip it over into my hand into dealer's grip just like that so that is actually doing the move. So this is my preferred method. This is the one I use every time I perform this. Um, it does work the best in my opinion, but there are a few other ways that work just as well. But so I'm gonna go over that once again. So once you get into this position, so once it clears the pack and goes up here, your thumb's gonna push this into this one, flip it over, and then flip it back over into my hand into dealer's grip. So this will take a bit of practice because you want to get it into one fluid motion so that it just simply looks like this. Um, you want it to be super quickly so that you're not going like, you don't want to be going like this and then flipping it over. You want it to just be one motion just like this. So um, that is the first method that I, this is the one I prefer using, like I've said, so let's get into a, other, a few other methods right now. Okay guys, so let's get into another method. So this one I actually learned from Xavier Spade um, on the Herman Pass. So um, I will leave a link in the description for where you can watch that. Um, but basically the move is, what you're doing is you're doing the same move, kind of like what I showed you earlier. So you're actually going to push this, this thumb is going to push it into the packet, but instead of flipping it over, like in the other one, you're actually just going to let it fall back onto your hand. So I'll go over that one more time. So once you get here, your thumb's actually just going to push it into the packet. So this is all covered by this hand right here. And then you're just going to let it fall back into your hand. So in speed, it should just look like this. And then you can kind of use your fingers to like spread it back like this which is something i like to do um or you can i don't know dribble or something like that um it does kind of cover it up if you do one of those things after you do this pass so um i'm gonna go one other method so i'm gonna show you guys one last method and then i'm gonna end the video so this one is probably i don't know probably my least favorite method but it does work just fine so whatever one works the best for you that is fine so i'm like for me i prefer the first method but you know whatever one works for you that's why i'm showing you guys a few methods so anyways let's get into the last one right now okay guys so basically 
the third method to, I'm pretty sure it's the third one. Um, anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to do the Herman Pass one more time. But like I said in the beginning, when you just wave your hand like that, how a lot of people do do this move. Is that even correct grammar? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, anyways, so how I said earlier how people wave their hand and it just looks bad. You're basically doing that, but you're using a justification and it does look good. So it doesn't look like you're just waving your hand over the deck. So basically, once you get into this position, which is pretty much the position where you start the move for all of them, is once it clears the pack and gets all the way up into this hand, you're going to actually drop the packet with your hand, but your hand is going to come immediately back and actually just do one of these. So it's just going to pull the cards up. You're going to want a more slippery deck, like a newer deck. Not You don't want like an older one, otherwise this won't work very well. But then you just kind of let it go. Um, it's really not that hard. You kind of just use your fingers right here, pull back, and then just kind of let it fall. Just let gravity do the work mostly. It's pretty easy to do, um, and it does work. So I'm going to go over that one more time. So you're going to come up, come right here, and then this hand's going to come over. So covering it pretty much like this, and then it's going to come immediately back to go like this. So in speed, it should look something like this. Um, that was actually pretty bad. I'm going to redo that. So in speed, it should look like this. So kind of like that. So like I said, this is the one I prefer the least because, you know, it does kind of look weird because you, you don't usually go like this. You kind of just usually hold it and then go like this. But, you know, whatever. They're not really going to be like, why did you move your hand before you did that thing? They're not going to ask that. So I would not be worried about this. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I hope you guys liked the video. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time.